When I started this process about three weeks ago, um, really looking for somebody who would partner with us um, to enhance and lead our student athletes in uh, concert with the mission of Lafayette College and our athletic program. Anytime an athletic director does that, you kind of go down a couple different tracks. One track is going with uh, the experience, someone who's done this before and done it so successfully. Another track is with those um, people who have outstanding experiences as assistant coaches and are looking for that first opportunity to, to take their, their own team and do that. And we had some great talent in our pool on both of those. Um, but it was clear to me after some conversations uh, with others, and frankly, I was asking Teresa early on in this process if she would help me. I said, you know, do you know a lot of people and we can bounce some names off each other and uh, wouldn't that be great? And, and we did, we had a lot of those great conversations, but it's, it just kept nagging in the back of my head. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> At least ask the question. So I asked if she would, she would consider being our basketball coach. And she said, yes, I'd absolutely consider that. You've seen the, the release. Teresa has just a giant in, in women's basketball, a Hall of Fame coach the wins, you've seen all that. But more important to me is what she does is a mentor for young women. Uh, she's a leader in her, in her game of women's basketball. Uh, the woman's amazing. And she's gonna do amazing things with our young women here. So it was my great pleasure after all that to welcome Teresa Brents as our new basketball coach. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, boss. Uh, it is. It's uh, an absolute pleasure and delight that uh, uh, I have this opportunity, and I would like to thank uh, President Byerly, Dr. Bruce, Katie McKittrick, and uh, Annette DiOrio, who really spent a lot of time uh, answering questions and being involved and in really giving me the pulse of what Lafayette is all about. Uh, having spent the last six months here, I felt like I almost was um, interviewing at that time, and I have a, an idea about uh, what Lafayette is, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And if I were a parent and knew that I had a, a son or a daughter and they had the opportunity to receive a Lafayette education and be able to be involved in sports and compete and become the best version of yourself, what a great opportunity. So I look forward to the challenges of recruiting. Um, I look forward to working with my staff. I look forward to working with these young women. Uh, but we will get it done here. We will get it done on the academic side, and we will get it done on the athletic side. Coach Grenz, congratulations. Dan, thank um, you. Can you tell us a little bit, you mentioned being on board for the last six months and then probably knowing a lot about the Patriot League before that and a little bit about Lafayette College. What are some of the advantages that you take with you into the head coaching spot? Well. The, the good part is you know the team, you know the, the support staff, you know people, um, so that's, that's done. So I don't have to go through that initiation period, that's done, and we can jump right in and go to work. Both feet go to work. We're going this weekend, we're going recruiting, and uh, we're going recruiting. We're coming back with some, some players. Coach, from a, a sheer basketball standpoint, what, what types of things makes you excited to coach the players that you'll be, uh, you know, that are coming back next year? Well, the first thing we're going to do is work on these next five months. We're going to work on May, June, July, August, September. We're going to work on building our bodies, getting strong, being in the weight room, being the best versions of ourselves on the basketball court, really with the skills. Um, and that's first. And then being able to come out and say, okay, now let's challenge ourselves. Let's see how good we can be. I believe in uh, simplicity. I believe in putting the ball in the best player's hands. I believe in playing defense, and I believe in being prepared. Uh, as I've said many times, my teams will never lose. The other team may score more points than us, but we will never lose. The good part for me, this is not the Big Ten. It's not the Olympics, but it's where I want to be right now, and I believe in the theology of things. I really do. God does things for whatever his reasons, and if you ever want to make them laugh, just tell them your plans. So. You know, I was going to play golf and that was going to be it. Well, that's not working and I'm much happier where this is. So I'm looking forward to that.